Got the teed up indoors, football in focus for a Thursday night. Got Nasir Newkirk with us from Dudley Panthers. Three touchdown catches last week. Big win against Eastern Guilford. Uh, the first touchdown pass. Can you go back and kind of take us through it? What was going on between you and uh, Andrew Atmore? Drew Atmore on that touchdown pass you caught? Yes, sir. So uh, we were just really just looking at how the DBs were playing us. And uh, he seen that he liked to match up with me, and he just uh, laid it out there for me to go get it. Perfect play. Was it the same thing on the second touchdown catch? Was it a similar route that time? Uh, no, I think the second one was a little bit different. I think it was the third one that was similar. It was yeah. similar. Yep, yep. The one toward that corner. Yep, yep. Right That's corner of the end zone. Yes, sir. Yeah. You got to love those. Uh, t was that the first time you'd had three TD catches in the same game? Uh, last year, actually, against Eastern again, I had three against them. Wow. Eastern last year. Same situation last year. Yes, sir. Year. Repeated it. Good Lord. Talk about how it's different a little bit this year because you had, last year, you had yourself out there. had uh, DJ Parker also playing some of the receiver last year. But yes. this year, you've got yourself, you've got CJ Neely. And you've also got Jerron Blackwell coming in. Still got uh, our man Cornell Bartley to catch with you, but a little bit different. Got a few more receivers this year. Got a good receiving core. How's it different a little bit this year for you? Uh, it's just a lot more weapons. Uh, gives our quarterback uh, just a lot of different options to look at. Uh, early in the year, they tried to like double me because I had a good year last year. But once I uh, bring it in, Cordell, we have Cordell still there, and then CJ coming in also. Uh, we also have Antonio Lee and then Jerron, that athlete himself. So. They just they have to choose one, and uh, if you try to double one, another person is going to go off that, that was, game. That was so good. Maybe a few Friday night, maybe Easter was leaning towards C.J. Neal a little bit, yep. maybe covering him close to just open things up for you more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I think they looking early in the year, he started off great. So uh, they just had to make an adjustment. And, uh, like our receiver coach always tells us, if uh, another man is not having a good night, then you got to go out there and make plays. Who is your receivers coach? Uh, coach Bess. Coach, oh, Anto uh, Mr. DeNorris Best. DeNorris Best, yes, sir. Best, yes, sir. Doing a heck of a job. Yes, you mentioned Antonio Lee. That guy yeah. is a hard worker because he was at quarterback that first game yes, when sir. Andrew set out the first half, I guess it was, and then came in later, maybe the first quarter. But, uh, boy, Antonio Lee has done a good job receiving for you guys since he joined in there. Yep, uh, he's one of our, like, glue guys. He can do, he does whatever we ask him to do. Uh, he just go out there and work every day. He's really a role model on our team. So you guys look up to him. Yes, is he a senior? No, he's a junior also. He's a, he's a young, young, like, man, that junior class is loaded. Yep. Think about people scouting the Dudley Panthers as far as seeing guys in a core group of receivers, all those guys you got. That junior class is definitely blessed, I'd say, at Dudley right now. Yes, sir. Do you get the college coaches coming in, talking to any now? Are you hearing from any college coaches these days? Uh, yeah, they come in. Uh, Louisville came in and Virginia Tech came, uh, I would say, last week or the week before that. Uh, they said they just come and stop by, and then of course I, I go on the game day visit so I get to meet a lot of different coaches, get get a feel of how these colleges work and all that. Where have you been on with some of the game day visits? Uh, I've been I've been to Georgia, North Carolina, App State. Uh, where else have I been? Virginia Tech, and I think that might have been it so far. And I still I plan on going to Liberty this weekend. Uh, this weekend I, coming up? Yes, uh, it's their homecoming this weekend oh, actually. Man. So I plan on going up there. Yeah. I got to make it to UNC Charlotte. Got to make it to ECU. And I think that's it for the rest of the Is year. Has Ohio State called yet? <laughs> nah, not yet, not yet. Not are you yet. thinking about the ACC? Or are you thinking about the Big Ten, the SEC? Any idea what you lean toward? No, nah, I don't have like a real preference right now. I just uh, once I meet the right coach, right coach staff, and I feel wherever home is, that's where I just want to go play. Is Liberty still unbeaten? Oh uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. They still undefeated. Yep. They played that stretch of three straight Tuesday night games. Yep. I was tracking on their schedule. Yep. Man, should be a big home. I had, I had that had that in here a couple weeks. I brought my pad. I was up there years ago going to school there and played football there. Okay. I bought my little card, and they sent us a thing in the mail about the free 50th anniversary of football liberty. You go to this big meeting, I guess it's coming Friday night, but I'll be okay. at your place Friday night, so I won't be going yeah. there. But it's interesting the job that school has done with football over the years. Yeah. And uh, gosh, coach down, down at, uh, I guess he's at LSU now, coach that was up there, Hugh Freeze. Heck of a job he did. Now, Coach Chadwick came there from Coastal Carolina, so yep. they are definitely getting guys on the map. And the they quarterback are. situation is very – because they have Malik Willis for several years. Malik yep. Willis actually played against Virginia Tech and our buddy Trey Turner back in the days. But right now it's Liberty with uh, Coach Chadwick there. And, mm -hmm. I mean, they got a new quarterback, not a new system. Maybe a little bit of a new system, but they're doing very good as far as offensive production goes. Yeah, they are. you got to like what you see from those guys. Yeah, I like the way how they, they get their ball to their athletes out there a lot. They like to spread it out. And, uh, yeah, their quarterback is having an amazing year. You mentioned a good thing about that offense. People can watch that offense more than once. Eventually, you're going to learn that offense. And so it's, it's all about the quarterback, even Drew Atmore. Yep. 
it's not always the pass up field. So it's, it's like to toss those receivers, let them run with that ball. Yep. Get yep. the ball in their hands, let them take off and go. Yep. Uh, like our uh, coach Hall likes to tell us, uh, well, he feels like we have the best athletes in the state, so he just wants to, he tells Drew to get us the ball in space and let us uh, do the rest. It's kind of different than the old days. The old days, it seemed like they always try to get that receiver, let's do the jet sweep, the handoff play. Now it's more like just throwing the ball and let him still run with yep. it. We run a lot of RPOs also, so uh, reading, and that's a way, it's like kind of like a modern day triple option. You have your run, you have your pass, and then if Drew feels like he needs to take off, he can't do that also. And if he's not ready to take off, you can always bring our old buddy Jerron Blackwell and let him yep. run a little bit too, right? Yep. That's, uh, he ran for a TD last week. Yep. Uh, Jerron is a great athlete. He uh, does it on both ways. He's a power five DB, and he also can come on the offensive side and make plays also. He's a tough one. That about it? What about yourself last week? I think you had, well, you did have three touchdowns out of four receptions. Yep. So cash in on uh, four of your receptions with TDs is pretty good. How many times, I'm just asking this because I'm just curious, how many times were you targeted that game, do you know? Uh, how many times did it come to you? I think it might have been five. They called it one touchdown back. Mm -hmm. Oh. So Lord. I think I think it might have been, I got targeted five times that game. Five times. So, um, Real efficient game. Pretty efficient. Yep. Good percentages that game. No doubt yep. about it. You got to love how that goes. But again, a couple of those, first and third, maybe the same route. Yeah. As far as that route goes. What's your favorite pass route? Can you take us through that? Uh, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. I like it really a lot. We got a lot of options that we like to do. So it really just depends on how the defense is playing us. But of course, you know, everybody likes the way the goal ball looks. So. Oh, yeah. And that corner route's pretty good, too. The yep. one you yep. ran last week to get that right corner of the end zone. Yeah, when you ran that corner out, were you beating that beat, beat the defender maybe by two or three yards at least? Probably that much yep, cushion and then, on him. And then uh, Drew gave me a great ball, so I was able to go get it. Yep. And I saw C.J. Neely first of the year against Page in that game. His route was almost line from the far left side. He got one guy on and just streak, stop maybe one, plant the foot one time and gone and just throw it to him. Yeah, uh, that's a great thing, Drew. He just gives us opportunity. Once the ball gets in the air, he knows that we can go make a play on it. So. It's not really 50 50 with us. We feel that it's more 80 20. So we go get it. You got the right man throwing that ball to you. Yep. No doubt about that. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, routes because I was talking to our previous guest in here, Demetri Morrison, about a little. He said his favorite route was to go about five, seven yards of the field, plant, and then do a little curl route. You guys don't. Okay. You got too many of those inside curl routes, do you? No, we don't run it as much. Uh, we have it in the playbook for sure, but we. We still got a lot of stuff we opening up once play, playoffs hit, so we'll see. Yep, it's always good to have those extra things like it's in the play, but you can use in the playoffs. Yep. Save some stuff, some of those surprise elements. What about, we talk about all this uh, offensive work for you, you also play defense. Yes, sir. Switch to go to defensive back. What's that change over to defense like? And talk about your job at defensive back, what you do there. Uh, well, really, I play safety, so uh, Coach Davis said he needed me to go out there, uh, kind of like the quarterback of the defense. I just tell people what I see, and I just go out there and do my job. Are you pretty much in there full time at defensive back also, or do you spell somebody, give somebody a break? Oh uh, no, I, I, I start at DB, but I also have uh, people that come in and get me, like Jeremiah Deese and Leezer Brown. They uh, great athletes as well that come in. We're really deep at all positions. I feel like so everybody can interchange, get in, and make plays. Super, because I uh, know Coach Davis talked about Deese, how his advancement progressions come along this season. And Lazar Brown, that guy talked about him with somebody else on your team or somebody last week. That guy is like one of the fastest guys yeah. in the territory. Yeah, I would say we got the fastest player in the state for sure. Yeah, he's just got to keep learning the football game and convert the track over to the football. I think it's going to be great for him. Yep. Uh, we use him a lot. Of, we, got, we use him on offense, defense, special teams. We can, we can really put him anywhere with his speed. And you got to be thinking about him maybe someday too on those uh, kickoff returns or punt returns. Yep, for sure. Along. For sure. He definitely can go out there and make plays. What makes uh, some of your teammates, what, what makes C.J. Neely such a prime target? What do you think makes him the prime target he is? I would say uh, I haven't seen him drop too many passes. Very reliable. Yeah, he's very reliable with his hands. He has strong hands, runs good routes, has a good, good amount of speed to him. So just go out there and uh, when the ball in the air, he knows how to track it and go make a play on it. And I guess the quarterback knows that fact yep. too, and he says, "I don't mind going to that guy. He's going to catch it for me." Yeah, we. Uh, I would say it started in the spring. Spring going into the summer, we started building a relationship with the quarterback and receivers, and uh, just keep building throughout the fall. And now we in playoffs, and just go keep building off of that. How about uh, Cordell Bartley? What makes Cordell tick? Uh, I would just say his explosiveness. He, uh, he got that grit to him too. So he goes out there, he uses his speed, athleticism, he just go out there and make plays. He goes 100 mile power at all times. And on those uh, kickoff returns, it's almost like uh, you better have a fast forward type camera or phone working to try to 
record what he's doing because it's going to be going pretty quick. Yeah, once you see that hole, he goes and he doesn't slow down. Still like that play he had against maybe Rockingham County or somebody when he scored that touchdown, came up field for Channel 2, their video, and just did a little wave to the oh, crowd. Yeah. That was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice finish there. Well, talk about, if you will, about West Iredale. This week you got them coming up. What do you know about them coming in? Because I know nothing about them. Uh, I know a little bit about them. I know they uh, play hard. They got a pretty good running back. Uh, just, just got to go out there and play our game and uh, come and compete like it every other week. And uh, I feel like we'll get out there with a dub. Now, were you with Dudley a couple of years ago when they went up and played against Statesville? Were you with yep, them? I was. I was yeah. a freshman at, uh I was a freshman there. I started yeah. uh, on varsity as a freshman. It was a cold Friday very night cold, in Statesville. Very that cold. That was up in Iredale County. You know? yeah, it was just a man. Yeah. That was the Friday to Thanksgiving that year. Yep, because yep. we practiced that Thanksgiving morning, yeah. I remember. And L.J. Southern had a very good night that night, too. He kind of came on as a young running back yep. that night. That's he started to show his stuff yep. back that Friday night. Uh, would you like one of those rematches with Eastern Guilford maybe in round two? I mean, I'm looking ahead. I always look ahead sometimes. Yep. I can't help but look ahead a little bit. But people see that possibility. And how about a rematch with the Wildcats at your place? Uh, I feel like just as, every time we play them, it's good competition. It's a great game, so uh, I wouldn't mind it. We just got to go out there and win our game, and if they do the same, then we'll see them next week. Yeah, most important now is that team with the West Iredell on their uniform. Yep. Either on the front or back, wherever they, probably on the front where they put it. Uh, what must Dudley do to win the state 3A championship? I mean, that's got to be the building process right. to win that 3A state title. What do you got to do to keep going and to win that state title? I feel like our biggest thing is just not to get satisfied and just keep working every day at practice. Uh, we, take, we take practice very seriously. So I feel like we just keep building on that every day, keep getting better every day, then we, we have the athletes to go out there and do it. Just got to keep pushing yourself, yep. challenging each other. Some, yeah, I think Cordell told me there's like one day in practice. I try to remember what these guys tell me. I think it's Wednesday. That's yep. like challenge day. Yep. It's like go at it day. Yeah, Wednesdays are almost like a game day for us. Uh, we do our starting offense, starting defense. We just go out there and compete. And it's, uh, it really just helps us get us ready for Fridays. It gets, builds chemistry. A uh, good competition never hurt anything. So, yeah, we just go out there and compete every Wednesday. And it's just like a building block. We, we've been doing since, I want to say, my freshman year. And it's just we build upon it every year from that. Full contact? Yep. It's not, we're not going down to the ground, but we're definitely thudding up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Making that contact throughout yep. the season kind of keeps you ready for it. Yep. For that first hit. Getting that first hit on Friday night is important, too. Once yep. you get that first hit, you're ready to go. Yeah. And sometimes you get that first hit warm-ups if you're popping pretty hard there. Uh, what does it mean for you to have your mom, Sherry, on your team and backing you up every Because she backs you up every day. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's great. It's great. Uh, she always just tells me to go out there and push myself. She always pushes me, and uh, she always wants the best for me. Also, my dad, Ivy Newkirk, he... Uh, just go out there and tell me to do what I know I can do and what I was blessed to do. I've seen your dad's name out there, but I do see your mom a lot on, uh, yeah. on, uh, face, on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on social media. And she's pushing you guys hard all the time, which is a very good thing. Yeah. Have your parents involved is good to have them backing you up. And a mom, sometimes she'll see that thing a little different than the dad. Sometimes a mom knows that little extra push you need. And yeah. She kind of comes in at night and tells you stuff like that you need to know and just keeps you moving in the right direction. Yeah. What final question for you? For this, is it Nasir or Nasir? Nasir. Nasir, okay. Yep. I gotta be sure I'm right. Nasir Newkirk, 10 years from now, where will you be and what will you be doing 10 years down the road? Uh, I will hope to be successful, uh, have a family. I will hope to be in the NFL someday, but uh, if that doesn't work out, then I wanna be probably a business owner or some, something like that, uh, or engineer. I'm also a real big engineer right now, so it's really right in there, but I just wanna be an independent uh, young black man with a family and uh, just working hard. See, NC State's got engineering, a has yep. got engineering, Clemson's got engineering, some of those engineering schools. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm on the engineering track for uh, Dudley Academy, so that's what I'm not real big on right now. So if that's in my future, then uh, I definitely wouldn't mind that. Do you stay in Greensboro or are you looking to move on somewhere else down the road, do you think? Uh, I would say I want to maybe move a little bit. I'm not, I'm not opposed to uh, staying in Greensboro, but wherever the future holds, I'll be there. And also, if it doesn't happen in uh, – Football, you also are a basketball player. Yep. That was, a, I would say, basketball was my uh, first love. Uh, I picked up basketball when I was around three, I think. So it was just like, once I started getting older, football just became much easier for me. But basketball was definitely my first love. I've always told people you got 11 opportunity, uh, 11, actually got 22 total opportunities in football. You only got five in basketball. So yep. the chances are a little bit bigger. But, definitely bigger. And uh, of course, the teams are much bigger in football than basketball. Yes, sir. And you're looking forward to basketball season this year? Oh, yes, for sure. Uh, I just like to go out there and compete, uh, hoping to have a great year with my uh, basketball teammates. But first, got to win a state championship football. Got a couple extra hands, uh, Jerron Blackwell yep. and C.J. Neely. So that basketball team should be ready to roll. Yep. yep. Nasir, excellent job. Appreciate Thank your you. time.
Your mom and dad, Ivan and Sherry. Tell them Ivy. They've done it. Ivy? Yep. Ivy. Ivy Newkirk. Yes, sir. Ah, gotcha. We yep. got them all. Tell them they've done a very good job bringing you in. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we're going to get uh, Mr. Cameron Ball next. Football in Focus from Teed Up Indoors on Battleground Avenue.